Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to fix slow download speeds on your Xbox Series S. So let's first of all take a look at download I've just started. So if we just go to the queue and I'm just going to, well I mean you can see right here, 100, and, uh, 100, 200 kilobyte per second download speed. So this is quite terrible, let's just keep it real. So the first thing you can do is close out any games which are currently open. This will drastically improve the download speed, so let's do that right now. So we're going to click on the Xbox button and at the top, this, these are your last apps. So if you have any games opened, uh, you just want to click on start. And if you have the option to quit these games, just click on quit and then you will be good to go. You may have other games uh, opened up in quick resume. Make sure you close out those as well. You do that by clicking into my games and apps. And if you see anything in the quick resume, just click on start. You have the option to uh, select them and then close out of any games from the quick resume as well. Now, this is this is the uh, the easiest fix you can do. This will instantly uh, increase the download speeds. However, you can see right here, I'm already at, um, let's resume the download right here. You can see 8.8 .8 megabit per second. Uh, you know, my Wi-Fi isn't very fast, but you can see 9 megabit versus 400 kilobyte. There, that's a, pretty, that's a pretty big difference. And I did basically little to no work. Now, if you do that, or if the games are already closed out of the background, well, the second reason why the download speed is slow is, let's say they were fast in the past, and now they're currently slow. What that means is the network is congested. So what does congestion mean? Well, let's say... You know, you have a bunch of other people who use the network and, you know, they're using the network, you know, streaming Netflix. Well, what that means is you're going to have, you know, your Wi-Fi dedicating a bunch of its internet speed to the Netflix. And then it's going to be dedicating some of that speed to the game. And so what that means is you're going to have, you know, half download speed, quarter download speed, even slower. It's almost like streaming like really high quality Netflix. You may get terrible download speeds. So, you know, if you can... Best bet is to just shove all your devices, turn them all off from the Wi-Fi, you know, ask people to not use the Wi-Fi. If you can't use that or can't do that even, the best bet is try an Ethernet port. It won't really help out that much, but using Ethernet over Wi-Fi may help out in your situation. Or what you can do, you know, it doesn't hurt, is just use your hotspot. Obviously, if you're in a situation where you don't have unlimited data, well, hotspot isn't, you know, I mean, I guess you could use it, but you probably don't want to. But if you have hotspot and you have un unlimited internet, just sell a hotspot, connect your Xbox Series S to that hotspot, and hey, the hotspot could be faster than your regular Wi-Fi. You never know. Uh, I personally I use hotspot all the time, daily. I have this uh, router and it just uses my SIM card. And uh, the internet speed is pretty good. I'm on the, my regular Wi-Fi, uh, which is why these download speeds are slow. But yeah, you know what you do? is you follow those fixes and that will solve the issue of your uh, internet speed being slow so if you are in a situation where you've done everything and you know things aren't going fast well you just you just have trash internet i mean what can i say if things were going well in the past and they weren't now there could also be a problem where you're too far away from the wi-fi networks maybe you move the xbox series s if that's the case you know move the router closer or move the xbox series s closer because you may have worse signal and that's it thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye